Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we got a review this week, and I uh, found this guy here. Looks like a mouse or a rat or something. So I'm not sure where he came from. So let me review. Let me get some information on him, and we can review him, and uh, I'll tell you exactly who he is. And if you know, good for you. So what's up, guys? Here's how I uh, usually work this stuff. Here's my uh, laptop, of course. Nice big Decepticon symbol there. Not not saying I'm pro Decepticon. Actually, I like both, but I'm a Transformers fan. And there's a uh, rat trap hanging out on my uh, keyboard there. And uh, of course, he's next. So we do some reviews, and of course, I set up the videos here. Where do I set up here? Did it work? No, it did not. Yeah, there we go. Windows Movie Maker, which is pretty simple, especially for these. When I do the tour reviews, of course, it's a uh, I use uh, Roxio and I get really into it. You could edit the scenes and all that stuff. And uh, do Roxio. There's Roxio there, but we won't use it this time. There's my Photoshop when I set up the pictures for it. And of course, you know, the rest of the stuff. So, and we got Tomb Raider in the background. But we got Rat Trap. Rat Trap, you're up now. Here's your review. Actually, you could do. If I miss anything here, there he is right there. If you guys don't have this guy, definitely get him. He's very cool. There's some actual symbols on the forums there. Those are binoculars, right? If I'm wrong, please tell me. But I think they are. Translucent gun. Very cool figure. But let's go to the official review. I just want to show you guys what I do and how I create the videos. So, review for Rat Trap. Let's go. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Rufus again. And this time we got a, uh, a mouse. No, it's a rat. All right, it's Rat Trap from Beast Wars. Only this time, this is Rat Trap from uh, Transformers Generations. Thrilling 30 line. Yes, I think so. And then you can see he's a. Uh... Come on, I know you get. Come on, focus. There you go. It's kind of like a dog. No. So, if you ever get a good focus on there, you can see all the detail on him. And there you go. One of the very cool Beast War figures they did for this line. And again, why isn't this focusing? Alright, there you go. Is that focused? Yeah? Can you see him good? Yeah, there you go. Nice and clear. Uh, decent sized figures, pretty small. But uh, they really went to town on this guy. The paneling is pretty good. Oh, you know. Of course, it's uh, still a. Uh, Part, not parts former, shell former, so to speak. The only difference is this is a real good shell former. Not like the first version, which I think you pull the tail up and it flipped over and it, all the parts just flipped out on you. So, whoa, let's go back to that. And, uh, there he is, his rat trap. So, uh, what we're going to do now is uh, put this guy in rat trap mode. Okay, so here's rat trap in uh, maximal mode or robot mode. He's got the, let me point it out, comes with this uh, nice translucent gun here and I think these are binoculars or something, and uh, I'm not even sure if you used them on the show. I think you probably did, or else you wouldn't have came with them. So, and then the nice close up there is uh, a. Come on, there we go. Somewhat, yeah, there we go. So, there's a close up of his face, you yeah. know. You can see the. Uh, Nice and furry designs there. Looks pretty good. Here's the back. So, that's, uh, I mean, the back, you know, definitely looks like the cartoon model a lot. They did a great job on this guy. And, uh, hopefully the rest of them look, look this good. I know we did Rhinox already. And Waspberry, they look great. I don't have the Cheater and Dinobot, but I think they might redo them better. Because those were kind of, like, subpar. But, uh, this is great for Rat Trap. And, uh, Keith, shout out to you, because I know you love these, uh, Beast Wars characters, so, but, uh, Transformers Generation Rat Trap, uh, small guy, but, uh, what do you expect, he's a rat, but, uh, very detailed, very, uh, very well made, you know, and, uh, I'm really glad we got this guy, so, hopefully, like I said, hopefully they do all the Beast Wars figures like this, because they're all, if they do them all like this, then this quality would be great, especially a Tarantula, you know, what's, what's the other guy? The Red Ant. Inferno. That'd be cool. Inferno's got to be at least a Voyager, though. That thing was sick. But, uh, yeah, man, there's a Beast Wars Rat Trap. Beast Wars Transformers Generations Rat Trap. And then there's a 
there's a blurry close-up. Close and now he's coming into focus, so that's good. That's a nice face. Look at that face. So, the head and everything looks great. Best thing out of that. Best thing, uh, one of the best Beast figures they've done in a while. Yeah. Of course, it comes with a comic. The comic is crap. Like, most of them are crap, except for, uh, the artwork by James Reyes, who's one of my favorites, but he does real great stuff. Can't even name the other guys, because, like, you don't really remember them. The artwork's so bad. But, uh, yeah. Rat Trap. Generations. Transformers. Thrilling 30. There he is. Looks cool. Nice little figure. Uh, and that's it for this guy. So, I'll see you guys next week. Watch some more Ruthless TV. More Transformers reviews. Um, workout videos coming soon because I, yeah, I had a physical, ther physical therapy on my shoulder, so I gotta get that fixed up first, which I'm doing now. So, more workout videos coming soon, and more transform reviews coming soon. Watch out for more of them next week. I'm Mike Ruthless, and I'm out.